Hey everybody, it's Melanie, the Carnivore Queen. I wanted to do a really quick video today and talk to you guys about something that I got to do yesterday. And uh, that was, I got to be featured on a podcast with Keto Savage. And I'm, let me just tell you, like the whole time I'm doing this podcast, my mind is just completely blown because I can't believe that I'm speaking to someone that is so, I mean, it's just like, you know, this is a keynote speaker of some of the events that I've gone to and he's brilliant. And, and it was such an honor and privilege to get to actually be on his podcast. So that is being uh, worked on right now. And I think, um, you know, I think that's going to get published or whatever soon. And so I will let you guys know when that comes out. Uh, but we just recorded it, so it might be a little bit. Um, so I wanted to talk about the KISS plan. Um, so I don't know if anybody's ever heard of KISS, but it's Keep It Simple Stupid. So one of the best things about the carnivore diet for me is that it is extremely simple. There is not a whole lot of guesswork because I'm only eating seven different foods. Um, that's actually very liberating because I don't have to worry about if something fits into my plan and um, it just it makes things easier for me to know this is my step-by-step -step guide this is my kiss plan and this is what I'm gonna stick to so um, if you're new to the channel I went carnivore in February of 2021 and have since lost 70 pounds total um, and that's 70 pounds from, uh, let's see, July of 2020. So fast forward, I mean, that took, you know, it took a while. Everybody wants to know, how long did it take to lose that weight? A long time, like a year and a half at least. And I did it very slowly, and I'm very glad I did it that way because you do not want to rush something like that. Um... But yeah, I, uh, I've had a lot of success by going carnivore. I was keto before that and only was able to lose roughly 40 pounds. Uh, and then I just, I was at a point where I thought, well, this is probably it. This is what my body's going to be. And lo and behold, it wasn't. I still had a lot of health issues and inflammation on my body. And uh, I had watched a video with Joe Rogan and Michaela Peterson, and that was the pivotal moment that I decided I'm going to give this a try and go all in and go carnivore. Uh, and I, I'm so glad. I can't believe I saw that video because I don't even, I'm not even a big fan of Joe Rogan, so I never watched his stuff. Um, but that, you know, I saw that video for some reason. I thought, oh, what's this about? And it was about Michaela Peterson um, healing all of these problems by her diet alone. And it's like poof, mind blown, you know, to think that your diet is affecting your health. In fact, it's affecting your mental health as well. So I wanted to back up for a second and talk to you about my go-to after-school snack of what I ate every single day for the past, hmm, let's see, like the whole time I was in middle school and high school, this is what I had after school. I would run home and I would get not one, but two packs of ramen noodles. They had to be creamy chicken or else you know, don't even play with me on any of the other flavors. You can't tell me there wasn't anything better than creamy chicken. So that's not enough. So I had to take hot and spicy Cheez-Its and about, a, I would say about this many, and I would crush them up and sprinkle them on top of my ramen noodles. And then I would wash it down with Diet Sierra Mist. Because we all know Diet Sierra Mist is so healthy for you. And, you know, uh, I was trying to be uh, conscious of my weight. And, uh, you know, like everybody else, I was obsessed with why can't I get skinny anymore? Why am I gaining weight? Huh. 
why do I feel like shit every day? Huh, oh, I don't know. Maybe it has something to do with eating Franken food or complete trash for the last like 30 something years. Anyway, that was a confession of a former carb addict. Um, and I'll do those here pretty much in every video. I'll tell you what I used to eat because it's almost comical looking at it now. I think, well, I think, what was I thinking? Do you ever do that where you, you think back about something you did or said and you're like, what was I thinking? Why didn't somebody get a hold of me and shake me and say, what is wrong with you? Or just smack me and say, get a grip. You're eating crap. If only I had that person to do that. But anyway, you live and learn, right? So yeah, keep it simple. Um, triple B and E. Dr. Berry uh, talked to a group of us about the triple B&E diet, and I know it has literally saved people's lives. And if you don't know what that is, check out his video on it, but it's where you eat nothing but beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. It's extremely simple. It's extremely filling and satiating. You're not gonna be hungry, and in fact, you're probably gonna have to start buying new clothes because it works miracles. Um, so yeah, I will try and uh, link that video in the description if I can find it. If not, sorry, but it's Dr. Barry. Um, and it's the triple B and E diet. Now I, I eat differently. I, I eat, um, well I eat beef, butter, eggs. I do not eat any pork products whatsoever. Um, and that's for a different reason than, um, you know, I'll get into that in another video, but I don't eat any pork, period. Um, and I do chicken, shrimp, and then I do coffee and a little bit of coconut cream or coconut oil in my coffee. So there you have it. Very simple. No guesswork. Oh yeah. And no seasonings. I only do salt. And that's it. So it's fun. Um, it's fun to wake up and have tons and tons of energy and not feel like shit every day. It's awesome. Anyway, I hope this video helped you guys. And if it did, let me know in the comments. And I love hearing your success stories. And let me know if you've done triple B and E and like what kind of, you know, stuff happened. Like what happened to your body? Did you get, um, the results you were wanting or are you still on it and you're just going to see how it goes yeah i want to hear so i'll see you guys in the next video